started right Oke, okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, Good morning everyone um, uh, Class online learning class for the conversation class uh, Bung Hatta University It's May 24th, uh, 2021 uh, last week we talked about meeting 11 we discussed a few important things about it was social life um, so i'm going to share with you the presentation for those of you who want to join the class please make sure that um, after 15 minutes I'm, I'm not going to be able to accept all of you so please please join in line right now okay so try to open view okay so can you see the powerpoint yes sir okay great i'm going to open it um <coughs> Okay, this one. Um, English and everyday life conversations. Um, before I start, I have to make sure that you're not going to be uh, late to join with class. Okay, last week we talked about social communication unit one. We have studied about introduction and greetings, more about you and how to say congratulations, expressing apologies, uh, showing good and bad manners, helping each other, expressing sympathy, and then a little bit review at the end of the video. And as you can see, I display the cover of the book, um, A Conversation Book 2, English in Everyday Life, uh, third edition. So for anyone of you who will um, listen to this presentation and online classroom, I'd like to remind you that I took the material from this book and the learning process is originally created by myself and my students. Okay, so this is going to be 12th meeting and we will cover this one, unit two, about personal life. So personal life means that this is about you as an individual Oke, okay. jadi kita akan bicara tentang uh, personal life, kehidupan personal, uh, sebenarnya sedikit pribadi. Uh, we will cover a few important items. Uh, first one, daily life, uh, favorite foods, personality characteristics. And we will talk about uh, how to discuss about friends, childhood memories, cultural identity, life story, future plans, hopes and dreams, learning styles and review. Before we begin, is there any one of you who would like to know um, these words? Is there any words that you never heard before or that you don't know from this list? Dari daftar ini ada nggak kosa kata yang tidak tahu? No, I think I think it's already fine for you, right? It's just very common. Okay, yeah, all right, well. Yeah, yes. We, uh, ya, bagi yang nggak uh, tahu nanti ngomong aja ya kita sama-sama belajar mungkin ada yang udah tahu mungkin ada yang belum tahu so it's better for us to uh, speak up or say something okay we I move on to the next slide we come first to the daily life okay we start with this picture um, you see uh, there's a picture um, daily life so daily life is about your routine um, bahasa Indonesia-nya rutinitas, rutinitas. But, yeah, it's a routine. <laughs> so it's actually it was from English, but then bahasa Indonesia <coughs> adapted it to Indonesian style. It becomes rutinitas or routine, daily life, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or uh, it's very different with habit, right? So, oh, someone is joining with us, so I have to admit it. Okay. All right. So here daily life. As you can see uh, in the picture, this is number one. Um, what do you see in the picture? 
Uh, how many people are there? Two. Two. Two, two people. And then uh, on the right side, what is he? Is it he or she? He. 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 Yeah. Best, he. Uh, best, uh, best description is he because uh, short hair, maybe short hair. And <laughs> A little uh, bit just, just <laughs> skinny. <laughs> For me, this is what skinny. Well, in, in, in other countries, it can be she because some girls may appear short hair. But okay, now we take uh, he. Okay. Uh, what is he doing? The, the, the man who is uh, on the right side? Shaving. Shaving or what? Yeah, he's shaving. He or shaving? Shaving is yeah. being. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, can we say that he is is doing um, having toothpaste? Yeah, maybe. Maybe I've done before. Yeah, it could be the responsibility. And what what is it called? Mustafa. 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 And and this one, what what is it? <coughs> Probably uh, mirror. Giving mirror. mirror. Okay. Giving mirror. mirror. And the other guy or the yeah. other man, what is he doing right there? Sleeping. Still, dream. still sleeping. Still sleeping. Think sleeping. Uh, I think this one is a bit lazy to wake up in the morning. Okay. Now, um, the next picture. What happened? Um, uh, the other guy just woke up. He is okay. drinking a coffee and read some book. Read, <laughs> read, a, read, read a book, yeah, a book. Uh, yeah. Not some book, but a book. Okay. Uh, your friend is joining. Okay, now this one, uh, this guy is, I'm not saying a guy, but this man, this man is having a copy coffee yeah, and then coffee. reading a book and uh, a glass of water and pancake H. usually pancake oh. you know pancake oh. yes. yeah yes, because if you if you live in uh, overseas australia or maybe western countries pancake is the most common uh, food to right. eat in the morning because you can cook it by yourself that's why pancake mm. pan Pancake, it be, it becomes pinukui <laughs> in in West Sumatra. Mm -hmm. Pancake <laughs> pinukui. Which one of right? So orang Minang udah cerdas. Jadi <laughs> orang Barat punya pancake, kita punya pinukui. So they look like the same. You can go go on and search online. Yeah, silakan search online. Okay, this this one. And and what about the other man uh, on the right side of the picture? What is happening to him yes he looks so messy right yep, he just yep. woke up woke up and then uh what is he doing uh pulling up his hands like that uh, what changing. Huh? Stretching. Stretching. stretching stretching right stretching. Stretching. okay good and then we have here the third picture Still the same, the same man who yes. did uh, his coffee. What is he doing now? Uh, watching television. Watching, news? watching television. Broadcast. Broadcast. What is the event? What is the event? News. News. Okay, good. News and news. the other, man? the other man is eating Lame. while running. Running or Lame. this? We can we can call this one uh, like being uh, rush, rush. You know, buru buru. Yeah rush here and there and then you have to do it very quick and this one number fourth what happened uh the other uh the can we give them a name like oh, okay mr. Good, good. yellow and mr blue <laughs> okay good idea what, what do we just name uh, mr a and mr b mr a uh, and mr b i'm gonna call them mr yellow and mr blue sounds right but right me Okay, all right. That's a good idea. Okay, I can agree with that. Mr. Yellow and Mr. Blue. Yeah, that's so nice. Yellow and blue. It's very nice, nice. Okay, what happened to Mr. Yellow in this fourth picture? 
Mm, he apparently have a paper that mm -hmm. needed to for his work. Uh, okay. His, maybe he answer or his his boss maybe in the office. So uh, yeah. he is already prepared, right? For the Mr. Yeah. Yellow. What happened to Mr. Well, he uh, forgot all or lost his paper. <laughs> I think he he looks so frantic. You know, frantic, uh, frantic, um, panic, and then he looks so losy, losy, or um, he looks so uh, dizzy, unprepared, oh, uh, nervous, because he left something on his bag where he's supposed to bring that. Okay, so and then the, the last two pictures. What happened? What is the Mister Mister Blue doing? Uh, watching Blue, watching television. TV. Watching TV. I think it's a movie, TV. right? Basketball. Yes. Cartoon or basketball? And it's a cartoon. I think it's a cartoon, and then he eats uh, popcorn, right? Yeah. Yes. And what what is Mr. Yellow doing? Uh, Study. Yeah. Studying. Okay, at noon. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and the last picture. What is Mr. Yellow doing? Well, my brother Mr. Yellow is sleeping already. Sleeping and already. And Mr. Blue? Okay. It's the last minute. Yeah. <laughs> we call that in English as <laughs> learning in the last minute. Okay. So yes. this, these two people represent how students are. Some students are like this. Mr. Yellow is good. Mr. B, well, I'm it's, Mr. Blue. Yeah, it's it's true. Okay, now <laughs> we learn we learn vocabulary from this picture. Although I haven't shown you the vocabulary yet, let me show you the list of the vocabulary that we have. Okay, asleep. Asleep is number picture number one. One. Asleep. One. Awake. Yes. Number two. two. Number three, clean shaven. This number one. Number one. Okay. Number one. Cram. Uh, number two. Cram. Number two, yeah, cram. This one is, you know, feeling cram. Your, your body is. Um, oh. Number five, you know, cram, cram, cram itu dari bahasa oh. Inggris. Cram. <laughs> kita tiru, cram. <laughs> ya. nah, jadi, selama ini kan kita pikir, Kram, kram, kram itu bahasa Indonesia. Ternyata itu dari bahasa Inggris. Kram. <laughs> okay, number five, difference. Mm. All these pictures show difference, oh. right? Number six, disorganized. Purple guy. Number? Four. Number four. four. Yes, yes. Four. number four. four. Disorganized. Disorganized means that you are not disciplined. It's a contrary to the fact of being disciplined you are disorganized see this this is what i show you before this is frantic frantic is in here frantic means like uh, you are you are looking like a very confusing person frantic panic sendiri gitu frantic and number eight, grogi 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 ini bahasa inggris ternyata sudah masuk ke indonesia katanya gua grogi coy katanya grogi ternyata pas grogi this one yeah. grogi yeah grogi for example if your lecturer asks you your assignment do you bring that if you don't bring it you feel grogi you feel nervous uh, nervous in negative sense uh, hurry this one yeah. hurry okay Number 10, the last minute. Number six. Number six. Number six, the last minute. Uh, mess. 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 No mess. Which one, mess? I think number three. Number three, Number yes. four. Number four also, mess. Number and number five. one. Number oh, one, number. mess. Mess. Uh, Mess is a condition that is messy. So number 12 mm. is messy. Messy is an object. Kata sifat uh, messy. Messy. Indonesia sama dengan uh, berantakan. 
Messi. Uh, number six. Ya yeah, ikut Messi. Oh. Excuse me. Is that a shock? Uh, yeah, shock. this is shock. Fox. Uh, a pair. A, uh, this is a shock. Kalau ada dua, a pair of shocks. Ya, yeah, kalau dua, a pair of shocks. Pasang kos kaki. So this is a shock. Um, and if, if well, uh, who are they actually? How can they live in the same place? Dorm, asrama. <laughs> asrama. Kos-kosan, well, kos Kos-kosan, okay. If you, if you study in the US or in Australia or even in the UK, these people are actually students um, and they are called roommate. Roommate. Teman kos itu sebenarnya kan roommate. Classmate, teman kelas, teman sekamar, roommate. roommate. Nah, jadi biasanya kalau roommate, saya dulu roommate, I should remember I have my roommate from Korea, South Korea. So, um, when when uh, other Korean came to my place, they thought that I'm Korean. Then I said, I'm not Korean. <laughs> I'm right. uh, ternyata orang Korea sangat disiplin dalam hal waktu. It's very good. Um, number 13, need apa itu? Hmm. What is need? Which one? Number okay. one. Uh, number one and number four. Need. Okay. Need means uh, rapi. Rapi dalam artian semua tertata di tempat tuan. That's, that's need. Yeah. When I said to you, hey man, you look so neat. Artinya rapi bersih. Oh. Yeah, rapi bersih. Don't you, don't you say, oh you look you look great, you look handsome, you look pretty, you look beautiful. Itu sudah standar. But you say you look neat. It means you appreciate how he or she wears the dress and clothes. Okay, number 14, organized. Organized lawan dari disorganized tadi. Berarti Mr. Yellow has that. Prepared. Hmm. Prepared uh, yang penuh persiapan. Procrastinate. Uh, have you ever heard this word? Procrastinate. Yes. Sir. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, well, what is that? What does it uh, mean? When you Menunda. just like yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. When, when you, you have home. a word but you do it later. Okay. All right. So it, it, it procrastinate is actually a verb, kata kerja. It means that you keep postponing your task or your assignment or your job and you do something else. And what you do something else actually doesn't relate with your job. That's procrastinate. Right? Mm -hmm. And procrastination is a noun form of the word procrastinate. Jadi bentuk kata benda dari procrastinate. That's procrastination. Number 18, put off. Put off. Mm -hmm. Which one? Put off. Um, I think it's uh, put off mean this one, number two. Number two, mm. put off. Yeah. So, so, yeah, it means that uh, he, uh, Mr. Blue is uh, putting putting off his clothes. Take take it off. Yeah, put off. Put on. Put off. Okay. Uh, put on your shoes, misalnya. Masukkan sepatu. Put off, misalnya. Tapi kalau pakaian, misalnya, take off. Take off your clothes. Take off your. Take on your clothes. Itu you directory. Harusnya put on. And then uh, ready, uh, you know already. Uh, ini dia yang kata saya bilang tadi. Roommate, so they are all roommate. Teman satu kamar untuk kuliah. And number one, twenty-one. Rush, this one. I've told you before. Uh, self control. Which one? Self control. Every uh, Mr. Yellow part is self control. Yeah. Yes, he has self control. Uh, remember of discipline. Mm, number twenty-four, sloppy. What is that? Uh, sloppy. Every Mr. Blue part. <laughs> every Mr. Blue part is sloppy. Sloppy, sloppy means 
Ini juga masuk dalam bahasa Minang. Slop. Oh. Have you ever pakai slop? Mas slop. <laughs> Sloppy, you know, sloppy means slippery slope. Artinya sendal Jepang yang licin itu loh licin. Jadi bisa oh. ada so, sloppy ini dia nomor tiga. This is sloppy. You are rush. Kalau rush itu maksudnya tindak tanduknya bikin dia kacau itu disebut dengan sloppy. So that is sloppy. Itu ditiru oleh orang Minang namanya slop. 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 Saya pakai slop. Uh, sloppy, okay. jadi bisa okay. ingat ternyata Nah, bahasa anak-anaknya namanya tarumpah Tarumpah <laughs> Jepang yeah. Tarumpah Jepang, kenapa Jepang? Karena memang we had been colonized by Japanese, right? Um, slop, that's why it's slop Tarumpah English hmm? Yeah, so you see braces? Yeah <laughs> So that's the way how you make uh, English with fun by connecting your own language to English. It's this how to make English fun. Unprepared belongs to Mr. Blue. Unshaven, which one unshaven? I, it's Mr. Blue. In Mr. Blue, yeah. Just like me, I, I'm unshaven, but sometimes I like to feel like this. But you look handsome if you look handsome right now. I can't, I can't it alive. Okay, never mind. Uh, when I clean everything, I look so feminine, like my friend said. Okay, and then untidy. Which one untidy? Mr. Ah, that they belongs to Mr. Mr. Blue. Okay. Okay. Now this is the question. Uh, we have actually we have discussed about this one before. I show you picture discussion. Number one, what is happening in the story? Who can answer this question in one or two sentences? What is happening in the story? You can say by saying Mr. Yellow is, meanwhile Mr. Blue is. Okay, who can try? Siapa yang bisa jawab? What is happening in the story? Kita ujiannya. Let's try. Let's try. Yeah, say, say, say your name and try to answer the question with your own words. Tiara, uh, sir. Sure, go ahead. Uh, Mr. Blue unprepare and Mr. Yellow prepare. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Who else? Siapa lagi? Who else wants to try? What is happening in the story? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes? Can I answer that? Okay, sure. Uh, in the picture, uh, you can see that uh, the daily activities between uh, mm -hmm. two roommates. Mm -hmm. Uh, it seems like the, the yellow, Mr. Yellow seems like more uh, disciplined, more mm -hmm. prepared, more um, organized. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, different than Mr. Blue. Uh, he mm -hmm. is. Mm, unprepared, mm -hmm. frantic, groggy, mm -hmm. uh, mess, messy, mm -hmm. messy. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Mm. Okay. That's All right. Okay. That makes sense. But more detail, right? That, that's good. That's good. What is happening? This is this good. Uh, Rasmi has answered the question. Uh, what is happening in the story? Okay. Uh, okay, the last one. Yeah, siapa yang mau coba? After that, I'm going to combine all of your answers. Who wants to be the third? Anyone? Okay, since nobody wants to answer the question, now let me tell you. If the question is what is happening in the story, you should start by saying, in the story, I, uh, there are two people, Mr. Yellow and Mr. Blue. Uh, just like what Reski has uh, answered uh, before, you, you mentioned uh, their name. Mr. Blue, uh, sorry, Mr. Yellow has, nah, you use this word, pakai kosa kata di sini. 
Mr. Yellow has organized character. Uh, he has self-control and he likes to prepare everything in detail. Um, he submitted his assignment on time and everything is so organized. Mr. Blue is the roommate of Mr. Yellow, but he is so unprepared. He seems to be frantic and hurry every time in the morning. When he arrives in the school or in the office, he looks so groggy and unprepared. He did not even shave yet. Then at night, he is so procrastinated. And then he always studies in the last minute. So that's the way how you answer the question. So I'm going to prepare you different pictures. <laughs> so never assume that you will answer the same picture all the time. No. Uh, how many of you? 35. I'm going to have 35 pictures. So each one of you will have different picture. Okay. So that's the one of the right. Okay. Now we move on. Uh, question number two: Which roommate seems to have more fun? Mr. Yellow, Mr. Yellow. Yellow or more fun, more or fun. What? fun, as in fun, fun or fun, 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 fun. Okay, <laughs> I think the answer is Mr. Blue. <laughs> Mr. Yeah, Blue. Mr. Blue. <laughs> Mr. Blue, right? So Mr. Blue like to have some fun. You know, uh, makna fun di sini artinya uh, bebas dari semua hal-hal yang berbau formal dan serius. That's that's fun. Oh, we have some fun, you know, things like that. Okay, number three. Uh, which roommate gets to class on time? I definitely Mr. Yellow. Mr. Yellow. Great. That's correct answer. Why? Yeah, Why? He's on time. He's at discipline or some. Is it or can I the kind of guy? Okay. Good. Right. That, that's that's the reason. Number four. Which roommate is more prepared in class? Mr. Yellow. Mr. Yellow. Mr. Yellow. Course. Why? Because he is more He's disciplined. Mm -hmm. Self-discipline. Mm -hmm. And organized. He is okay. organized. Good. Uh, number five. Which student is sometimes in a rush? Mr. Apparently, Mr. Blue always in a rush. Always. Mr. Mr. Blue. Mr. Blue. <laughs> Mr. Blue. Uh, always in a rush. And then why? Why? Uh, because he's so sloppy. Uh huh. And sloppy, and then disorganized and unprepared. Yes. Okay. Right okay. Good. Number six. Which student is more like you? <laughs> I'm Mr. Bloom to the end. Yeah. <laughs> we are Mr. Bloom to the end. Wow. Okay. All right. So for you girls, are you ready to have Mr. Blue? <laughs> Not. Yeah, not, okay, you you will you will change. I know for sure as time goes by. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's so today, hard, so I ain't gonna have to change. <laughs> today you can be Mr. Blue, but one day someone will change you to be Mr. Yellow. I this can guarantee. Get the <laughs> okay. All right. So that's about daily life, right? So you can use all these uh, common words: uh, procrastinate or. Pro Procrastination. Um, that's for example. Okay, now we move on to the next one. Favorite uh, food. Sir. <laughs> favorite food. Sir. Okay, we have here uh, several words. Um, appetizer, starter, appetizing, bitter, bland. Uh, yeah. is asking something, sir. Yes. Some uh, some of us is not are not accepted yet. Oh, okay. Not accepted yet. Um, mm -hmm. the one who joined with us 19, 19 students I didn't see their coming mm -hmm. I tried to join with us again click again the invitation mm -hmm. 19 students yet um, baru 19 orang ini uh, yang tadi ada beberapa yang mau gabung sudah saya oke okay kan nah ini oke okay. Sudah gabung? Oke. Okay. Alright, so... 
Findi sudah sudah gabung. I don't know what happened. I already allow them to join. Okay, maybe they they they're going to be able to see us again in in YouTube uh, next time. Okay, so here I already. Okay, twenty. Twenty students join. Okay, ni baru baru masuk siapa tadi ni? Nadia, Nadia, Friska, Nicola Saputra, Cynthia JJ. Okay, alright. Now we move on to the next one. <laughs> Appetizer or starter? Appetizing, bitter, bland, crisp, crunchy, delicious, filling, finger food, juicy, light, rich, salty, smooth. Sour, spicy, sweet, tangy, taste, tasty, unappetizing. So, do you have any word that you never know before from this But list? Tangy, man. Tangy, tangy, man, sir. Yes. Tangy. Yes. Tangy. Okay, hold on. I never heard that word before. <laughs> We are the same, though. <laughs> I, I have to be honest. Instead of showing the wrong thing to you. So I, I better see. Uh, hold on, Tangi. So well, thank you very much, sir. Yeah. So I'm not even a native speaker of English. Oh, having or suggestive of a tang. So Tangi means what? Uh, dari segi selera. That's that. That's mean. Bumbunya kuat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tangi. And filling. Filling itu kalau misalnya onde onde di dalamnya itu namanya filling. Oh, inti. Itu mas onde onde. Ada yang gula saka di dalam onde onde itu tuh namanya filling dalamnya uh. itu. Kalau hmm. ada kuesus, kuesus itu kan di dalamnya ada fly itu kan? Ya. Yeah. Uh, itu namanya filling. Uh, bitter, bland, you know bland? Nah. Uh, bland. Bland. But have you ever heard about bland? Yes. Uh, bland is uh, smooth. Smooth, uh, lembut katanya di sini. So it's a very like the, no taste at all. Um, yeah, it could be like that. Yeah. Yeah. A bland, a bland smile, soothing, soothing in manner or quality. It's very soft. Okay, and appetizing. This one like smooth, smooth, uh, smooth. Ini kayak misalnya kalau kita makan uh, kue, kue apa namanya ya? Uh, kue bolu. Very soft. Bagian atasnya itu namanya Blend, ada yang luna itu, ah that's that's hmm. blend, okay, and then crisp and crunchy, crunchy, crunchy seperti kita makan chicky crunchy, kr kr kr, that's crunchy. Oh, you're uh, really hungry. Yeah, it's, uh, it's it's only in the morning. Uh, finger food. Have you ever heard about this finger food? Finger food, good. Finger food, it's a, like snack. Very yeah. small finger food, not really that big. Mm, okay, now we we start this conversation. Yeah, okay, the picture discussion number one. What do these people like to eat and drink? What do these people like to eat and drink? First, we need to see eat, and then the drink. How many pictures they eat? Eat, eat, drink, eat. Yeah, I'm doing. Mm -hmm. <coughs> they like to they eat what? What do these people like to eat and drink? These people like to eat one. So back to the Sushi. Oh, they like Sushi. to get the expensive court. Okay. Uh huh. Sushi and then this one. I have uh, vegetable. I forgot. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, this is. Salad could be yes, oh, fruit salad. salad, yeah, fruit salad, salad buah. Oh. And this one, this this uh, woman, what ice does she cream? like? She likes ice, ice cream. cream. Yeah, ice it, ice it ice could be an ice cream. Yes. Karena ada sendok kayaknya ya. Yes. Yeah. And what about this two? This man. This man likes to eat finger food. Finger food. Mm -hmm. nah, this one finger food. Seperti, seperti chicken wing. Kau dengar chicken wing? Yeah. Ah, that's not finger food. Finger food. Oh. Okay. So you imagine so this is the way how you answer that. So karena pertanyaannya adalah 
these people Ooh. jadi makanya mencakup semua these people like to eat a sushi fruit salad ice cream and finger food nah begitu cara jawab number two what are they talking about food food they like Food. Okay, they are talking about their favorite food. I like to eat their favorite food. Their favorite food, right? Favorite um, food. Yeah, they, they they don't talk about food. They're they're talking about what they want to eat. Right? Number three, which foods are spicy, sour, sweet, salty? Spicy. Spicy. Which one? Which food? Spicy. So. Yeah. Spicy, spicy sushi, and uh, sushi is not that spicy. I know it's not that spicy, but for for them it's spicy. Um, really? you know, the, the the green thing when you eat sushi, you have the green thing. What do we call that? Oh, green. Wasabi. 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 Yeah. I thought I thought that it was spicy, but it was just biting my tongue yeah. when I eat that. Mm. It's not spicy. When you eat the wasabi, what, what if you don't eat the wasabi? It's not spicy at all. No, it's not spicy at all. It's just biting my tongue. You know, yeah. biting it's my really tongue. Sweet, you know? Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So now, what about the sour one? Sour, sour. You know, sour. I do. I don't know what to eat. Tastes yeah. like, but I don't know what to call it. Means. <laughs> okay. So, which food are sour? Sour mean asam. Which one? I think fruit salad, mm, right? Fruit salad. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fruit salad. Wait, so I'm not gonna go with anything with it. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, actually, you know why, why sour? Because some fruit salads have a sweet taste, but then uh, they put um, that white cream on top of it. Mayonnaise. Mm. Yogurt. Yogurt. Or yogurt. Yogurt. Yogurt and mayonnaise. Sorry, sorry. They are not sweet, right? Yogurt dan mayonis masih, it's a bit sour. Yeah. Jadi campuran buah sabuah dengan sour itu, they it makes a delicious taste. And yeah. sweets, sweet. Favorite is mine. Candy, I got the candy. <laughs> okay, you can say candy sweets, but actually in this picture, she she's having ice cream. Yeah. Right, ice cream and uh, and salty. Finger food. Finger food. Finger food. Or you can say chicken wing, or chicken um, what, what do you call that in in the the latest Korean food? Yang ada nasi terus kayak lontong itu. What, what do you call that? Um, kimbap. Kimbap or topoki? Is it topoki? topoki. Ah, I see. Yeah. Topoki, yeah, <laughs> Or we we have we have that in. in In our minang minang food, what do what do we have that salty finger food salty? Which one? Can you tell me the name? Gorengan. Minang kabo food. Goreng kun. Goreng kun. Okay. Okay. Creepy. Okay. Creepy. Yeah. This is creepy. This is what I know. It's creepy. This is what I know. Spicy. It's not salty. Yeah. It's it's spicy. Uh, tahu, tahu goreng or tempe that's uh, a little oh, bit yeah. salty, right? Um, yeah, that's. yeah, that's this. This is a matter of uh, preference. Number four, which foods are crunchy? Crunchy. Uh, number four. Uh, crunchy. Now you can mention your food. They don't have here crunchy. You know crunchy. Yeah. Crunchy. Yeah, crunchy. Uh, When you when you uh, when you eat that, it's lumer di lidah gitu. <laughs> What do you call that? I don't have like. any. <laughs> I don't have example here. Um, crunchy. Pernyak. Um, Arnyak. Like uh, you can call it mozzarella cheese. Yes, mozzarella cheese. That's that's good example. Um, crunchy. Um, I don't know. It's just. Um, Kentucky, Kentucky could be French Kentucky. fries, French fries, yeah. crunchy, and we have you know French fries, <laughs> uh, They call I it know. French fries. I don't know why would they call it French fries. Just call it uh, fried potatoes. Um, 
Okay. And then which food, which food are crisp, 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 crispy, crisp. Kalau kita apa? Crisp. Jamur crispy is the one. Nah, jamur crispy. <laughs> jamur crispy. <laughs> crispy. Fungi. Kenapa nggak disebutnya fungi? Why would they don't call it fungi? It's supposed to be crispy fungi, right? Crispy It's fungi. It's a scientific name. So why would yeah. you go scientific name? <laughs> Because so, not, you know that, right? It's so yeah. unnecessary. Yeah, okay. Uh, if I have my cafe, my my canteen, I would have one of the menu is um, fungi love. What? Wait, what? <laughs> what? Wait. Fungi, fungi, fungi love. <laughs> what? You know fungi jamur, love, yes. uh, love, love, cinta. I would, I would have that combined. <laughs> Wait, no. Actually, this is not actual. It's not actually uh, fungi, but it's an ice cream. It's an ice cream. So, you see, some people have to be creative in giving names to their food. It doesn't have always to represent the real thing, right? You can you can call the food the angel wings. Actually, this chicken. <laughs> yeah, this, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be creative. Um, uh, Spaghetti eights. What? Could be yeah. what spaghetti eights. Or um, yeah, just to be creative, just to invite people to have food in your restaurant. <laughs> But in the end, you just have the same menu, right? <clears throat> as as yeah. other people. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. But whatever. I'm not gonna say things. This, this, this is a name. Okay. Um, and then we have number four, smooth. Which means smooth, smooth, uh, smooth means um, lembut, soft, uh, soft, soft cake, soft. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a cake. Uh, bolu pandan, you know, bolu pandan, pandan cake. Yeah. Yes. And that is pandan cake. Very smooth. Very smooth. Right. Yeah, when you when you put it in the on onto your mouth. You don't need you... to describe it. Stop. Stop. <laughs> it's making us angry. Stop. Okay. <laughs> All right, nah, I'm, I'm, okay, I will stop there. So, you know yourself that you consume smooth foods, you know, how does it taste in your tongue? And then juicy, uh, which foods are juicy? Fruit. Juicy. Mm. juicy. Fruit. A fruit? Mm -hmm. Of course, fruit. all fruit. All fruit, yeah. apple juice, uh, avocado juice. Mango juice. Actually, you know, every time I go traveling around Padang or West Sumatra, I never have, or I never taste durian juice. Oh, I never yeah. have that durian juice. I just see so durian ice cream. Every time a bad idea. I never uh, taste can... that durian juice. <laughs> <laughs> durian juice. I'm, I'm excited to have one durian juice. Um, uh, that's a bad idea. <laughs> I don't think that's right. a good one. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh, you regret but, it, uh. but but the glass not actually glass. It's it's a uh, this uh, this skin in the skin of the fruit. You take it off and then you separate the seeds and this content of the durian and you oh. make it a juice and you put it back there and you eat it like an ice cream. It will no, be that's, that's a bad idea. That's a terrible yeah. idea. I ain't gonna uh, do that. I will try to. Have you tried uh, durian cendol? Ah, uh, durian cendol, yes, I did. But the combination between ice, milk, milk, and uh, what do we call that? Squishy, squishy things like warm, kayak kayak ulat itu di dalam itu warna hijau. What do you call that? Cendol. Cendol. And ada. A little bit ketan. Um, oh. <laughs> no, the taste of durian uh, feels not that strong when I eat durian cendol. I really like durian itself. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Uh, yeah. I have eaten five durian. Okay, why are we talking about durian anyway? Okay, we we'll come back yeah, to I'm this. <laughs> Uh, number five, which fruits are filling? Filling. 
Sushi, yeah, sushi. It has feeling there. Mm-hmm. Onde, onde. Like an onde. Correct. Mm-hmm. Like, pasto. Like, like, you say pasto? Pasto. Excuse me? <laughs> pasto. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, so... Uh, oh, it teaches us something else. All right, now the questions are over. Now we'd like to come to this one, favorite foods menu. We have breakfast, appetizers, lunch. Uh, um, what do you call this one? Dessert. Dessert or desert? Dessert. 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 Why don't you call it desert? It's a sand field. <laughs> okay. Great. So if you if we pronounce it desert, it means that a very dry open field. Yeah. Sand with with covered with thick sand, desert, snow on the Sahara. <laughs> That's for example. And we have dinner and then beverages. Do you know beverages? No. Yeah. Well actually if you if you if you use the word beverages, it means that it is a collection of drinks that you have before you have your lunch. So it's beverages, many kinds of drinks. That's called beverages, right? Okay. Why? Now you made something like this uh, for breakfast. For example, like this. I have my breakfast. Mm, this morning, my breakfast was uh, fried noodle. Untong. Fried noodle. Uh, you, if you have, you can say, uh, let's try a recipe, say something like this, my breakfast this morning was long time. Say something like that. Okay? That is for breakfast. You can try about, okay, because this is still morning, we are not in uh, lunch time yet, so you are going to use future tense. Remember the form of future tense? Yeah, just yes, that. Okay. Yes. You will have to use the word will, modal auxiliary of will, or going to, and with infinitive. You can use will with uh, verb one or infinitive. Beberapa buku menyebutnya kata kerja pertama, verb one, or you call it as infinitive. It's a verb word. Okay. You want to try for lunch? I would like to have a pizza on my lunch. I really want to eat pizza right now. Okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I did. It's done that. Uh, we need to invite a girl. Okay. A girl. Another a girl. Okay. One boy, one girl. Okay. Now it's a girl who wants to try the lunch. Give you best shot. Mm -hmm. uh. Just just imitate the breakfast like this one. This morning my breakfast was a fried noodle. Or you can say today my lunch today, will be my lunch. lunch will be, uh -huh. Noodle. Huh? Noodle. <laughs> <laughs> noodle. Noodle is many, okay? Don't just say noodle. What noodle? You can say uh, noodle soup or noodle. fried noodle. Or um, chicken noodle. What? Well, you can change the f the pattern like uh, Adit uh, has just said before. Uh, pizza and um, and steak. Okay, I get to do my lunch today. You can say like that. Okay. And dinner. What about dinner? You want to try dinner? Today, my dinner is I am geprek. I am geprek. <laughs> Hold on. Is, you said is, right? Today, my dinner is. Is. Today, because, my dinner is. Because it doesn't happen yet, so you need to change the word is into will. Okay. Oh. Today, my dinner, Today, my dinner will be. Will be, will be I am, I am correct. Okay, sir. 
seperti itu ya. So, you can, you can or you can change the position. Today, ayam geprek will be my dinner. Yeah, so that's simple, simple like that. Just sharp to the point. We can make it informal more than that by saying like this one. I plan to have my dinner with my friends to eat spaghetti and a very delicious cake. Tapi jangan terlalu itu kalau tetik informal. Kalau yang simpelnya, you can say like that. My dinner will be I am the black or I am the black will be my dinner. Today. Hmm. Coba diganti kata ayam gepreknya dengan um, Chicken geprek Chicken geprek <laughs> <laughs> well, People will not know that chicken geprek um, I don't know, well, what, is, what is called that? It's uh, nasi, 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 nasi kibuli Nasi kibuli, what is that? What? Have you ever heard that? Nasi kibuli. First time I heard it, I don't know. <laughs> First time you heard it. Um, yeah. Or or you can have uh, Thai Thai food, Thailand food. Uh, for dinner, um, you can have a juice. Just mention anything that you would like to plan. Okay, that's and remember that the key word in here is that this should be favorite foods. Your favorite food. The meaning of favorite foods mean that you really like to eat that food compared to many other foods. Jadi yang namanya favorit itu yang paling disuka. Kalau ibarat lagu, lagunya itu ke itu aja, itu yang favorit. <laughs> jadi, jadi bedakan ya, orang yang makannya itu itu aja karena nggak punya duit dengan yang <laughs> itu ke itu aja. <laughs> bedakan oh, ya. that's hurt my pride. <laughs> So, you, have to that. <laughs> you have to differentiate that, okay? So that's favorite. Um, uh, what about appetizers? I don't know appetizer here. Yeah. You know, we, we don't have appetizers here. We just go directly to the main course. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm gonna say that's good, yes. Yeah, yeah that, that's, the, that's, the, that's the custom in here. We don't have yeah. appetizers. Yeah, I never... <laughs> <laughs> and then desert, dessert, dessert, uh, dessert. Actually, we have banana. Yeah, something like fruit. <laughs> oh, fruit, banana, uh, watermelon. Yeah, apple. Oh. Somebody eat apple. Ah, sometimes apple. If you I go do. to, <laughs> if you go <laughs> to my, you know, my dear Salim or um, uh, pengajian or doa doa something like that when people agar agar. Uh, Agar-agar, what do you call that? <coughs> jelly. Jelly. You no, know? it's not jelly. Pudding. pudding. Yes, pudding. Pudding. Oh, yeah. Don't call jelly. Pudding. Jelly. Jelly itu sifatnya jelly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tapi bendanya disebut pudding. 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 Uh, chocolate pudding. Okay, things like that. And beverages, you can have avocado juice or wine. Can Thai more. tea. <laughs> what? What did you say? Wine. Yeah. Wine, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have you ever tasted wine? <laughs> Have you ever tasted wine? Udah pernah coba wine? No, I've never. Oh, never. never. Uh, never. Dia semacam kayak makan ini loh, makan, apa namanya? Pernah <coughs> bau uh, permainan anak kecil yang balon-balon itu, you know? Tahu. Yang ditiup. Ditiup. <coughs> Seperti jadi di perusahaan. Iya, iya, iya. Nah, gimana rasanya di lidah? Bayangkan itu ada di gelas yang kita minum. And then add it with a certain uh, mixture of grapes. Ada anggur, ada rasa buah. If you drink it one sip or two sips, that's fine. But if you drink it more than one glass, you will be drunk. Lebih dari satu gelas akan mabuk. So, jadi yang dinamakan dengan minuman yang memabukkan itu yeah. yang bikin mabuk minum air putih satu balon mabuk so wait are you saying that i can drink wine as long as not get drunk well technically yes wow 
I'll drink. <laughs> I'll drink my. I'll, I'll drink but, my wine right now. But but with one condition, with one condition, if it has alcohol substance, it's better for you not to drink it. Well, what if yeah, my that's... alcohol resistance is high, so I don't get drunk easily, so I can drink as much as I can as long as I get drunk, right? <laughs> well, well, the problem <laughs> is. Me. Well, the problem is when you drink it one or two sip with friends, there is no reason that you're not going to add it more. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, right. yeah. See, right. See, see, so let's just avoid it. I avoid it at all costs when I was in the United States. I avoid it. Although I have friends, my friends have drinks next to me. Uh, Turkish, American, Korean, uh, from French, they have uh, beer, they have, uh, they have champagne, wine. I let them drink, but I don't drink. See? Um, and and um, I don't care what they think. We're just still friends. You guys have drunk. Go ahead. I don't drink. I don't get drunk. <laughs> that's different. But, uh, okay. So that's, 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 that's what I did. You know what, what happened? Uh, what happened in the morning when I woke up, uh, when I did my subuh prayer, I saw them collapse on the floor. <laughs> yeah, like a, a, a corpse. Yeah. Yeah, it's collapse. Uh, you know, like sleeping, but they will get drunk. Yeah. That's so this, this, yeah, this is the way. And this, that's, I don't know. This, yeah, there's, you know, people now. Okay, now we move on. Personality characteristics. This is exciting about this one, personality characteristic, characteristic pribadi. Um, okay, we have these words. You see this picture. There are a lot of people doing different things. We have uh, two people doing basketball. Someone someone is sitting on the bench. You know bench? Yeah, could be yeah bench, bench means that this is a long chair uh, that, that can be used for two or three people sitting together. Um, yeah. This one is, uh, what is he doing, this one? Uh, dorong anak bayi. Uh, yeah, with the toddler, toddler, our baby, baby Bebe. carrying, uh, carrying the, the baby uh, roller like this. And then there is a girl who is, what is she, what is she doing next to the street? Smelling. Uh, Slow. Yeah, what Mind do you do? Uh, um, no, I think we don't have the word here. Okay, she's uh, trying to smell the flower. Yeah, smell, smell the flower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I think she, she put her nose close to the flowers, right? Yeah, put which is nose wrong. Inside. Yeah. And these people, um, what are they doing? Lost. <laughs> 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 no, not always. Jadi, not always. Kalau kalian pergi ke taman itu ada dua orang duduk posisi panjang, jangan lo pikir dipikirkan mereka pacaran. No. <laughs> um, seems like, uh, seems like the girl are uh, flirting. Okay, all right. Uh, look at her face. <laughs> look at her face. It seems like happy. And this one, this guy with the bald head, short hair. Yeah. So yeah, this is interesting. You are right. So, this one is called this one, flirt, flirtatious, flirtatious. So, yeah, flirtatious means menggoda. So, gombal. Word, gombal. Yeah, gombal. Flirtatious means gombal, and mm. the word flirt means menggoda, menggoda, pemerayu, flirt. So if you if you did like this when you saw, especially for boys, if uh, boys see girls walking in front of you and then you say, hi, like that. Whoa. It means you flirt. Don't do that. Itu artinya you flirt menggoda dia, merayu. So, kalau nanti you berada di luar negeri, jangan ngelihat orang lama-lama. Tak boleh. Yeah. Don't don't stare don't stare at person more than 
5 seconds. But Jangan. But... If you stare, mm. kalau misalnya you melihat pada seseorang like this, you stare more than 5 seconds, it means two things. First, sure. you are attracted to the person. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It can be your opposite side, it can be your same gender. And yeah. two, It also means that you have problem with yourself. Oh. <laughs> yeah. so, jadi jangan lihat orang lebih dari lima detik. Don't, don't stare. Lihat, uh, lihat mengahkan seperti itu. So this way. Oke, okay, now you see these words. We have affectionate, aggressive, cheerful, joy, uh, determined, energetic, extroverted. Spacious, fun-loving, gentle, inquisitive, introverted, lively, sorry, lively, meditative. Is there any words that you don't know? List. Extroverted. Extroverted. Okay. Yes. The word extroverted means the opposite form of introverted. Jadi kata extroverted ini. Uh, sifat kepribadian yang uh, lebih suka di keramaian, lebih suka berada di di di, hmm. di tengah kota, lebih suka jadi perhatian, lebih tidak suka jadi sendiri. Dia harus ditemani. Hmm. Itu ekstrovert. Ciri-cirinya uh, dalam sehari itu kalau nggak ada teman ngomong dia stres. Itu ekstrovert. Hmm. Hmm. So, Ternyata. Extrovert means butuh orang lain untuk menyemangati. So that's extrovert. Yeah. Uh, very different from introvert. Intro, intro means uh, inside, di dalam. You you can enjoy yourself being alone. Mau sendiri juga nggak apa-apa. That's introvert. Yeah. Um, I would well if I have to choose between extrovert and introvert. I will choose introvert. Nah, you seem to be extrovert. Nah, you gotta worry about that. Well, it's, I know it's a bit abstract with that. Uh, from my experience, um, I learned that orang introvert itu susah dimasuki. Tapi sekali sekali you masuk, bisa paham dia, mengerti dia, tahu cara dia berfikir. You will be amazed. You will be amazed. Okay. <laughs> Okay, intro. This is the word number twelve. Introverted. And then what else? What other words that you know? Number what number? Eleven. Eleven. Yes. Inquisitive. Inquisitive. Inquisitive means it relates to inquiry. Uh, dia punya rasa tahu, ingin tahu yang tinggi. That's kepo. inquisitive. Yeah, yeah. Kepo. Sekuasa ininya kepo. Oh. Inquisitive, <laughs> misalnya begini, dia melihat temannya lagi galau, dia nanya, Hey, what happened? What are you doing? How are you today? Inquisitive. Inquisitive. That's good. Orang, orang bule itu dia suka teman seperti itu. Hey, how are you? Is it okay? Seperti itu. Yeah, they're really open. That, that. They, they're very open-minded, like that one. But uh, in the beginning, it is superficial. But when you really feel close to uh, him or her, they will be open to you, to be a best friend. Because I have, I have my my friend, an American. Even until today, we're still friends. Um, okay, so we we uh, is there any other word that you don't know? Ada lagi? Melancholy. Melancholy. Okay. Melancholy means um, oh, there's no uh, word in here. Melancholy like this one, this guy, uh, this person. He wears eyeglasses and then brings. Uh, is it? I think it's tape. Uh, tape. tape. Yeah, yeah. Melancholy. Melancholy means a characteristic of someone that seems to be um, soft and then it can change through different situation melancholy mm. and it's sometimes it is easy to feel blue to feel sad without any reason and um, yeah it's it's very soft soft timid timid sangat ini 
terkadang dia gentle, tapi terkadang dia bisa menutup touch melancholis. Kayak uh, labil gitu enggak, Sir? Uh, beda moody, moody beda ya, moody, moody is different. Uh, labil. Uh, no, oh, it's yeah. not labil. Oh. No. It's melancholis itu sama seperti ini. Uh, kalau punya teman dia kalau di tengah keramaian dia tiba-tiba dia bisa uh, merasa galau terus kadang-kadang happy mm. depending on the situation that makes him like for her like that melancholis suka suka yang indah kemudian suka musik yang lembut lembut mm. uh, suka baju yang pokoknya yang yang apa namanya tidak terlalu ngerok tidak terlalu norak so it's, it's gentle melancholis Um, moody is very different. Moody, moody is. Uh, saya kalau punya teman moody saya nggak mau. <laughs> Karena pernah kita dalam satu bus, we plan to go to Bukit Tinggi for example, or to go to Pekanbaru. We sit, to, we sit together in the same bus, and then this one friend. Um, it's a unfortunately it was it was a guy, a man. Um, at first, he looked so excited, and he talked many things, and he looked so happy. We were so happy, and then when the bus moved from Padang to Padang Panjang, we make uh, jokes, we laugh together. He actually listened, <laughs> but then when we make jokes about him, he was so angry. <laughs> so, and then he doesn't. He doesn't want to say anything at all until we arrive in Bukit Tinggi. <laughs> and then when we got off from the bus, uh, I asked him, "Hey, what happened? Are you okay?" And he said, "Okay." <laughs> I lose my mind. My eyes are moving, bro. I said, "Come on, happy." Uh, so that's moody. It's easy to change the the temper, the temper or the emotion. That's moody. Yeah. Okay. What else? Determine yeah, number five. Number number five. five. Okay, number five. Determine. It means that you really believe in yourself. That's determined with PD. This is an objective. When I say, um, for example, Tina is a determined girl. It means that she believes in herself that she can do it by herself. Determine ini kalau bahasa Indonesia sama seperti uh, PD. Saya diri. Determined. The same with energetic, sama energetic, um, and then aggressive. Tapi agresif ini maknanya cukup negatif. It's negative. Aggressive ini antar sama dengan uh, radical, bersama dengan itu. Tapi kata radical can be positive, can be negative, depending on the context how you use it. See, that's uh, aggressive. If you say aggressive, aggressive friendship. What does it mean? Aggressive friendship. It's a positive. It's aggressive friendship. It means that your friend doesn't want to be far away from you. That's aggressive. But if you say uh, aggressive, uh, aggressive relationship, that could be mean. Uh, sorry, it could mean uh, negative. It means that one partner is aggressive and want to dominate the other. Ingin mendominasi, that's aggressive. All right, uh, we is there anything else? Ada lagi apa yang nggak tahu? Uh, number twenty four. Twenty four. Withdraw. Withdraw. Ini ada di ATM ini. Withdraw. <laughs> Withdraw. <laughs> Uh, but if you if you uh, if you use the word withdrawn with this with personality characteristic it means that someone is trying to hide away jadi dia uh, well physically he or she is right in front of us but uh, in somewhere he or she hides withdrawn have you ever felt that fenomena saya seperti itu You 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 join yourself in front of this person. Maybe you get annoyed. Misalnya uh, you sedang kesal, tapi daripada menyinggung orang ini, uh, you you change yourself into some to someone else. Withdrawn. So you withdrew. 
withdrew yourself mundur gitu. Yeah. 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 Did you didn't like, did get the sense? Yeah, Almost yeah. withdrawn. Um, misalnya dari talkative tiba-tiba ya. Um, yeah. So that's withdrawn. Like this one, talkative lawannya with, withdrawn. It's different from shy. Shy, shy is a positive word. It's a feeling so shy. Ini biasanya karakteristik dari orang-orang introvert. Shy. Um, uh, we cannot see Uh, their true color because of shy. Um, tapi setelah you kenal orang-orang shy ini ternyata ada they have something more that they don't want to share with others. If they want to share it with you, that's that's great. It means you are trustworthy. Maksudnya berarti kalian orang-orang yang bisa dipercaya. That's shy. Hmm, outgoing, outgoing ini bahasa lainnya adalah gaul. If you say uh, she is an outgoing person, berarti artinya dia orang yang gaul, <laughs> outgoing. Right. Yeah, you know, outgoing. Um, you want to go to the party, you feel the vibes. Canada sekarang vibes, and then you want to feel, um, hey, I'm here, or I'm wearing this dress, I exist. That's that's outgoing. Optimistic. Mm, And then optim. I know you already know about optimistic, meditative. Meditative means like yoga. It's a meditative. You have conversation. Mm-hmm. And I think it's the rest. The rest is fine, I guess. You know. Ada aku sakata yang tidak tahu. Mm-hmm. Uh, Choi, this one. Yeah. Uh, number four, Choi means like cute, cute, koi. cute. Uh, uh, playfulness. It's a, it's a koi. It's a koi. Koi means like cute, a little bit cheerful, ceria, ceria. Number three, cheerful and koi. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. We try to answer this question. Number one, what are the people in this scene doing? Uh, random. There is a random. The people in this scene. Uh, so many answers, right? <laughs> Just say, the people in this scene are doing their activities. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Just easier. Just make it simple, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Number two, what personality characteristic do you see in each person? Wow, it's going to be a long answer. There's a 24 answer, so I'm just gonna say it's 24 person with a 24 characteristic. So that's okay. It. Okay. All right. <laughs> that that hits the ball. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Number three, uh, what other personality characteristics can you think of? Other personality characteristic other than this? Ada nggak? Other than this one, short temper. Yeah, uh, it's a short temper. Short, short temper. Okay. Short temper means pendek. <laughs> short tempered or bad tempered, sumbu pendek. Wait a minute. That's the right? That's the Uh huh. Okay. So, is there any other word? Personality characteristics. Other than passionate. this, passionate. Uh, do we have passionate here? Oh yeah, passionate, good. Yeah, passionate. What else? Uh, I often hear the word the word of boring. Boring characteristic, for example, uh, boring means that when we having discussion that we just listen, and then and um, he or she keeps talking about herself or himself. And he, we just keep listening. Well, well, <laughs> That's boring. Well, that, that, you know, when when you have conversation, it should be vice versa, like this. Take and give. We have to share the time. There is a time for you to talk, and there is a time for you to listen. That's having conversation. A very good conversation is like that. 
Um, so that's why I said, uh, in terms of personality characteristic, we need to be balanced. It's okay to be extroverted, but sometimes you need to be introverted. So somewhere in the middle, I think that will make you a good person. Um, that's that's the point in here. And number four, which person in this scene is most like you? Introvert. Like Moody. Introvert. Moody. 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 Introverted. Uh, what about SK? Yes, introverted. What about SK? <laughs> so I think sometimes I can be extroverted, but sometimes mm -hmm. I can sometimes introverted. Then you're moody, God damn it. <laughs> That's <a> moody. <laughs> from uh from the way uh the way I interacted with Reski, I think Reski is a bit melancholy. <laughs> Um, and uncle is between between gentle and sometimes uh, easy to get panic. Okay, gampang gampang panic, tapi terkadang juga gentle. Okay, that's that's okay. That's uh, about personality characteristics. We move on to the next one. We still have more. Okay, now this is about friends. Can you imagine your life without friends? Uh, you don't have any. You don't have any friend. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Now we talk about friends. We have here uh, one, two, three, uh, three pictures uh, on top, and then six pictures in bottom, and then the first one we saw the picture of two women having conversation and um, there were two children one child playing with truck and the other one is open opening a magazine and suddenly <laughs> you know suddenly what happened bertengkar what is bertengkar in english i think Fighting. What? No, don't say fighting. Fighting means like you want to punch someone. That's fighting. Okay. Mm -hmm. But for kids, for kids, you should say quarreling. Quarrel. Sorry? What? Quarreling. Quarreling. Um, we have the word here. Um, let me type the word. Um, um, Tev, this is the word quarreling. No, that's the word. Quarreling. Quarreling. Yeah. Quarreling. Quarreling. Berebut, memperebutkan sesuatu. And then, what happened in the third picture? Um, what? What happened? Baca dongeng. Okay. Uh, what's that dongeng? What is dongeng in English? Fairy tale. Fairy tale or folklore. Folklore or folk tale. Mm -hmm. uh, fa kalau, if you say fairy tale, itu maksudnya cerita tentang peri. Peri, seperti Robin Hood, itu peri. And then, when kalau a folk tale it means uh, cerita rakyat folk tale seperti maling kundang it's folk tale or legend mm -hmm. so we can say the first question is what is happening in the stories the first three pictures show that there are two children playing a different toy one child is playing with the truck and the other one is playing with the magazine mm -hmm. suddenly they they are quarreling to get the magazine one of the mothers uh, um, calm them down, calm them down, menenangkan mereka, and they read the stories in the magazine together. Okay, that's the way how you combine this, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, now we see the next pictures. We have six pictures right over here. Is there anyone would like to describe what happened? 
on Mr. Red and Mr. Blue. Yeah. We we changed, not Mr. Blue, Mr. Yellow, Mr. Brown and Mr. Red. But Mr. Brown, he, is he is he is he black? <laughs> no, Mr. Uh, right. Um, I think it's Mr. 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 Ping and Mr. Green. <laughs> that's blue. Come on, come on, sir. That's blue. That's blue. As we can see, it's a blue guy. <laughs> Good shirt guy. It's okay. Like all right. Like okay. We go on with you then, Mr. Yellow okay. and Mr. Blue. So what happened to these two guys? Mm -hmm. um, uh, these two, these two kind sir are about to go to mm -hmm. somewhere, and then mm -hmm. uh, I think that is an uh, intersection. Mm -hmm. uh, they hit a red mm -hmm. car with a. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't think they're safe, but, but oh, whatever. Mm -hmm. They're they're survive, and then uh, the cars. Uh, ruin or broke? I don't know. Destroyed. Mm -hmm. The car got destroyed. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, that's it. Okay. Okay. You you stop until here. Um, <laughs> okay. So one, two, three. This is different pictures, right? Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Um, Mr. Yellow and Mr. Blue. Actually, look at the key, right here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mr. Mr. Blue borrows a car from Mr. Yellow and then he drove it with his girlfriend. Look at here. With his, his girlfriend. Oh, see? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> see? Yeah. And with oh. his girlfriend. Unfortunately, yes, you are correct. Uh, um, unfortunately, in the intersection, uh, Mr. Blue hit uh, somebody else's car. Um, mm. Uh, what happened after that is that Mr. Yellow's car damaged yeah. in the front part, bagian depan, the front part or the, the machine part. And Mr. Yellow asked his uh, key car back. Oh. Okay, that's what happened. So do you, think, do you think that the man with the car will lend it to his friend again? That's the question. Uh, if uh, maybe he will because he, apparently he has a kind sir, so maybe he will. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, I think he will. <laughs> yes, that's a bad idea. You have a negative thought, don't you? Okay. <laughs> well, if I were if I were Mr. Yellow, I would say like this: I will I will let you use my car Sorry, after you fix it. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Yeah, that's fair okay. enough, right? You you broke it and now you fix it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> this this is the key. Okay, you, just just suppose that this is the key. This is my MP3 player actually. Um, I give you the key, you broke it, and you fix it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the next question is, will they remain friends? Apparently not. <laughs> oh, so bad. Will they remain friends? Well, um, I don't know. For me, for me, I think they still remain friends, but not not about borrowing anymore. <laughs> yeah, uh, Mr. Red, not gonna trust his uh, very kind sir here. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Well, wait a minute. If you are too kind, you can mean stupid. <laughs> Too you kind, you know, too kind, too kind, yeah. double yeah. kind. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You can be, you know, being kind with being taken advantage of are two different things. Yeah. Bermanfaat dengan dimanfaatkan berbeda loh. Am I yeah, right? It's just same. It's just same. Yeah. It's just same. yeah. I think this is very nice. Um, I think they are still friends but not about borrowing anymore <laughs> especially for car for other things especially fine. car yeah <laughs> for other things fine not about cell phone not about car nothing uh, worrying. food fine clothes are fine um car, okay no. <laughs> it took it so far. Pictures, number one two and three oh. is there anyone who wants to try Um, 
This one. We oh, have here. Jesus Christ. Truth one, trustworthy, too fast, and reliable. Oh. Okay. See, use this word, true friend, trustworthy, two face, unreliable. Use this one. Two face. Two face. What happened to these people? And look at this woman. She's looking at the TV and then she's crying. And this one, she's crying too. Oh, uh, okay. What happened to this one? This girl. It, it seems like uh, the girl with the yellow hair mm -hmm. crying and tell he, her mm -hmm. problem with his friends with the green shirt mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, <clears throat> and then the, the girl with, with the green shirt tell mm -hmm. Uh, her another friend, mm -hmm. uh, the yellow hair problem. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. Seems and like the back pocket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like uh, spreading rumors, right? Yeah. Spreading rumors. Uh, rumor. <clears throat> So this is, uh, in English, we call this as two-faced, two-faced, bermuka dua, uh, bermuka dua, two-faced. Um, so this, uh, the girl with the yellow hair cried and she told about her problem, her situation, her personal things to her friend. Unfortunately, uh, her friend that she trusted so much shared that story to other person um, to her friends and at school it becomes gossips and people were talking about yeah girl with your help um, I think um, this person is called unreliable unreliable means tidak bisa unreliable tidak bisa dipegang bahasa minangnya balui that's unreliable. <laughs> That's unreliable. Okay. Um, and then 22, trustworthy. Trustworthy. I, I think I have mentioned this word before. Trustworthy means all yang, apa namanya, sangat bisa dipercaya, bisa diandalkan. Trustworthy. Nah, ini, if you have this characteristic, if you have this uh, trustworthy characteristics, you you might not have many friends, but at least you can be a best friend. Mm -hmm. You may not have many friends, but at least you have one or two best friends. You can we can have many friends, of course we can, but the trustworthy friend is the one who could see everything in your bedroom. <laughs> That's what it means. Trustworthy. Oh, that yes. Sounds something that you hide from people and you share that to your trustworthy friend and imagine how hurtful it is when you have been trusted by your friend about the very sensitive thing and then you spread it to people that's so painful mm, that would be so painful for your friend if your friend trusted you so much and then you use that for your own advantage, don't do it. And you said that you're, you know, asking. Yes. I'm gonna say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be, we need to be reliable, yeah. We need to be trustworthy, okay. Um, this second question, what is a true friend actually? Is there anyone to say, what is a true friend? That's dependable, very dependable. Dependable, okay. A true friend is someone who lend you money when you need it. <laughs> is that like true a, friend? Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes it works. Sometimes. <laughs> a true friend. Yeah, it's, I often hear this sentence. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Is it correct? Okay. That's uh, debatable. Very debatable. Uh, debatable. Okay. Yes. Right. 
a true friend. Uh, and then, um, which of this story shows a true friend? Which one is true friend? None of all. None of all. Not at all. Um, I think the first one, this picture, is a true friend. No, I didn't ask you. Yeah, because she helped, she helped her friend uh, taking care of these two children while the other friend is uh, making a tea or a cake, things like that. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's a, uh, I think it's uh, a true friend. I don't know for me, it's actually, the first one is kind, kind, mm -hmm. kind that you, you can accept your friend and then your friend can accept you as the way who you are. Not, not your face, not your hair, not your eyes. Not your if you're fat or skinny, it doesn't matter mm -hmm. that you are yeah. kind, and then you are um, reliable, reliable, and then you, you are not selfish. You know, selfish. What is selfish? Everything is about you. That's selfish. There you go. Yeah, everything is about you. When, for example, when I invited, for example, if you are my friend. And then I invite you to a, a mall or to the party, and then you said, "Oh, we don't want to go there. I want to go this way. I want to go there. I want to go there." But you go with me. It means that you don't care about me. That's selfish. That's not true, friend. So if you go in a group or with friends, you need to be balanced between thinking about yourself and thinking about your friend. Which one that you chose? It's both ways. Okay, that's true, friend. And um, number three, what kinds of friends do the other stories show? Hmm. This one is two-faced friend. Two-faced friend. <laughs> I don't want to go back into this one. Two-faced, it's, it's very painful. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one. Whether we can catch up or not. Um, I hope that we can catch up. It's um, slide number. We still have more slides. Nine of eighteen. It's already nine o'clock. Okay, we have to be in hurry. Um, okay, this we have this list of words. Oh, anyway, do you have a class after this? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, yes, what sir. time? What time? Ten fifteen. Ten fifteen. Yep. And then, okay, we're going to stop at uh, 15 minutes before 10. So that means 9 past uh, 9.30 we will stop, okay? So that you have a break before the next class. Um, yeah. We will continue this. I think we will continue this next meeting if we cannot catch up. But I do hope that you will get a new vocabulary, a new understanding. It's uh, still the same about different culture, how English is work. Uh, that setting. Um, childhood memories. This is the next one. Childhood memories. Um, okay, the first question is what are these students doing? Mm, thinking about a um, club. Any club. Mm -hmm. These students are thinking about joining a club. Uh, extracurricular stuff like that. Oh, okay, extracurricular stuff. You see this um, somewhere in their mind. I think they look like children, right? They look still yeah. like Yeah, they look like mm -hmm. in their past. Okay, um, of who they were in the past. Yeah. These students, you can use these words. For example, we have the word imaginary or imagination. You can make it into a verb by saying imagine. So the answer of the first question is, what are these students doing? These students are imagining their childhood memories or these students are remembering their childhood memories. So remembering means mengingat kembali, kenangan, kenangan masa kecil. Mm -hmm. Okay, from from this list of vocabulary, is there any word that you don't know? T. T. Reminisce. Okay, I like to see that. 
Um, <laughs> I'm always asking the hard word, right? Yeah, this one instead of um, never ask that. Okay, reminisce from here. It means that um, to indulge in reminiscence. It's um, oh, it's a platonic idea. This one. It's a platonic idea. Um, recall to mind of a long forgotten experience or fact. It means pengalaman yang bisa di ingat pengalaman yang bisa diingat. That's, that's what we call reminisce, reminisce. Dari kata bendanya adalah reminiscence. Here, this is this is uh, application that I use. You can download it for yourself. I use this one. Um, hold on, let me show you this one. Miriam Webster. You can up, you can download it in Google Store. I think it's very useful. Mm, that's that's the way I did. And this this one is reminisced. <laughs> you can use Merriam Webster or you can download Oxford Advanced Learners Dictionary. Both are good dictionary for you to have. It's very simple, lightweight, uh, ringan, and but for some dictionaries you need to pay. You need to buy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very, it's very expensive. But if you can buy it, just buy it. It's very useful. Very useful. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I will show you the dictionary of uh, Cambridge Dictionary after this. Fairy tale, fearless. Is that any other word? Reminisce, rocking chair. Rocking chair is like this. Goyang. Rocking what? chair. Yeah, rocking chair. Uh, <laughs> Like that, that's rocking chair. This one is sword fight, sword with a sword, sword, yeah. sword. Um, read aloud. This one is read aloud. Light or strike a match. This one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, match and then um, play with dolls. This one, play with dolls. Um, so I don't know why um, for for some daughters or some girls when they were young they play with dolls and for boys they play with uh, toys with weapons with guns with truck um, so it's very interesting to see that um, well sometimes I also teach about gender because uh, some some girls when they grew up they tend to like to fight they like mm -hmm. to uh, play football, even though they're girls. And some boys, when they were kids, they like to play with sword and they like to play with dolls. And when they grow up, they change into somebody else. It's just, that's about it's the issue of uh, gender. But I'm not going to talk briefly more about that. Oh, um, mm -hmm. I think I sent you text last, last week about what is the meaning of being a female and or female in Menengkabo culture, right? Mm -hmm. I'm interested to know more about that, but if you can make a video about that just for one or two minutes, you record yourself and then you explain it. Hopefully I'm male, so I can do that. You can, you, can, you can send it to me and then we can combine that so that you can listen to each other. But anyway, yeah. all right. Uh, we will skip this one. It's childhood memories. I think it's not really that uh, difficult to be understood. Tea party, uh, 23, this one. This is called tea party from the British, um, I think British uh, traditional ceremony, tea party. Esta minum teh. Kalau kita minum tehnya tiap pagi ya. Yes. Nah, this one, we don't have tea party. We just have a glass of tea. Okay. Now we move on to the next one. It's cultural identity. Okay, this is the last one, 924. Cultural identity, wow, look at here. Different situation, different places and condition. Um, this one is, um, okay, we have architecture, belief, belief in, body language, cathedral, Cathedral, chopsticks, climate, culture, custom, fur coat, fur coat ini semacam jaket berbulu yang dari 
uh, fur itu kalau dia snow ini dia fur coat this one musim salju kalau nggak pakai ini you bisa freezing bisa frozen kalau musim musim salju itu bisa kalau keluar dari rumah um, pipi itu rasa kena tempel batu es makanya pakai pakai shawl pakai kupluk pakai kupluknya pakai sebo pakai gloves you have to wear snow coat jangan pakai rain coat pada saat snow <laughs> jangan no, no yeah first it's going to be stupid and the second one you will be called crazy Um, tapi ada juga beberapa orang yang di saat snow itu justru kalau yang ceweknya dia pakai uh, celana jeans pendek betisnya jangan ditutup yang bagian tumitnya dibuka I don't know why They're just showing off their, their, their sexy part <laughs> Well some, for some culture yes they do they say um, we are women or we want to wear what we want that's what they think Yeah. But in our culture, it's, it doesn't work that way. When you show your sexy part and then people call you sexy, don't be offended. Yeah, you, you show it off. So you need yeah. to take your responsibility for that one. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be responsible. You sh- if you show it to public, it means it belongs to public, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, but if you cover it, no, that is yours. No one will disturb it. But in culture out there it different it has a different meaning if you're pretty show it yeah. Yeah. the stupid thing is that when you are pretty you're sexy you don't want to be called sexy it's they call it sexual harassment yeah. it's, I don't know, it's, it's very confusing actually you show it yeah. to people and, and you don't want people to look at you it's just weird The same yeah, thing, you, the same thing. You show food, yeah. and then um, you don't want people to taste that food. <laughs> yeah, that, that's confusing. Okay. Uh, All right, and then we have here heritage, eleven uh, heritage history, palm tree. You know palm tree? Pohon, palm. pohon palem atau pohon apa ini? Yes, palm. palm. Palem ya, pohon palem. Physical concept, plaza of square. So, plaza ini sama dengan square. So, for example, manga square. Manga dua square sama dengan manga dua plaza. Mm-hmm. So, is this the name? Um, plaza Andalas, Andalas square. Times square. Times square berarti itu adalah plaza. Yeah. So, don't get confused. And then, uh, religion. And religious, what is the difference between religious with spiritual? What do you think? What is the difference? Uh, religious, spiritual. Then, okay. religious is, mm-hmm. I think it's more connected to religion. Mm-hmm. Okay. What about But spiritual? Spiritual more to our self or mm-hmm. our body. Okay. All right. So in my understanding uh, or to my mind, being religious means that you you follow what your religion teaches you and it can be seen from your daily conduct, daily behavior. That's religious. It relates to a certain religion. For example, you pray uh, five times a day, you do zakat, you share charity or sedekah in fact, you go to uh, Hajj or Makkah pilgrimage, namanya pilgrimage. Pernah dengar istilah pilgrimage? No, the first time. Okay, the first time. Let me, let me tell you the word pilgrimage. Pilgrimage is actually the word of um, pilgrimage it's a spiritual spiritual kind of activity but it involves moving from one place to another place that's pilgrimage and then but being spiritual spiritual means it's not always about one type of religion it it just mean that you you show your uh, spiritual aspect in every sense of 
uh, for example you, when you discuss about uh, several topics and then you always relate that to spiritual point of view that you believe in God and you believe about the life after death and you believe that everything that you need to do in life will be responsible that you are responsible for what you do that's being spiritual and it's not really specific to a certain type of religion and your appearance might be not religious mm. you know what i mean your, your appearance you might have long hair you might have a very like a preman looking <laughs> you have tattoo for example but when people communicate with you when people get involved with you, you 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 show a sense of that you believe in god and then you, you know that you're responsible for what you do you don't want to harm people that's being spiritual just believing in the divine superpower divine means uh, apa yang paling atas itu that's divine but religious religious means like this um you wanted to go to the mosque to pray and then while you walk in the street you saw um, four or five people gambling <laughs> you know gambling main bala main bala and then suddenly you you shout at them saying astaghfirullah stop that it is very bad you have to go to the masjid that means being religious Yeah, that's religious you relate that to your religion right um but spiritual it's uh, it's another level of being religious you connected to god um maybe for example you come to them you approach them people who are doing gambling and then you just invite by saying uh, i'd like to remind you guys are you muslims if you're muslims please go to mosque and then you say things like that but if you still want to do this go ahead <laughs> this invite this being spiritual it's the showing courtesy right this um, the spiritual and we have show affection yeah this is show affection menunjukkan rasa kasih sayang because i believe until even until today i believe that even though you meet a very sarcastic person a bad person um or whatever it is as long as this person is a human i still believe that there is something good inside of him or her that's what i believe we just need to look at that. and some people some people are fail to see that some people some people tend to judge in the beginning before knowing that person closely you know what i mean Yes. Yeah. Follow. Yeah. Follow it's, mm -hmm. So don't judge. Never assume. Recognize others closely first before we give our judgment. And then tradition, traditional, tropical, tropics, winter. All right. I think it's already nine thirty-three. You were going to have your another class. Um, let me show you for the next slides. One class is three, and then we have two future plans, hopes, and dreams. We will continue with this next week, and then um, learning styles. I think we cover a lot of topics, but I do hope that you learn many vocabularies for today. And probably next meeting we're going to talk about this one: family life, family. Falling in love, marriage, having a baby, <laughs> growing up, parenting, after school, divorce, growing old, review. I really like. I like to talk about this one: falling in love. Falling in love. <laughs> well, it's just complicated, you know. But the word love, what is what is love actually? Can you think of it, or can you feel it, or you just? It just happened like that, so. It's a natural cause. <laughs> I think it depends. It depends. You love your parents. You love your parents. Does it? Is it? Is it the same love to your 
friend now. Whoa, 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 we take it too far, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Far. Okay. All right. Just, just be ready. Next week, we're going to fly above the sky. So be ready. Um, uh, it's going to be quite tough to think about this one. Family is falling in love, marriage, having tough, a baby. Tough. <laughs> you will be here one day, right? I don't think so. Not every one of us. <laughs> Uh, okay, all right. It's it's very optional. It's your option. Yeah, it's your option to 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 have families or. Um, but one thing for sure, everyone wants to have this. Mm. I do believe. Dependable. Uh, otherwise, otherwise, if you don't want to have this, at least you have self love. Mm. Self-love self -love means that you, but if you have too much self-love, it's going to make you like lunatic. Yeah, you know, that's... lunatic means that when you see yourself in the mirror and then you say, oh, how beautiful you are. You are so cute. And you're talking by yourself. <laughs> I just it's, crazy not going, or it's not going to be good. <laughs> Uh, we can say it, mental illness. Yeah, mental, mental illness. illness. It it it. Uh, well, you know, it it feels better if you have someone or or your friends who say the good things about you, right? Yeah. It feels good. It feels good. Try. But if if you want to get that in return, start it from you. Start it with yourself, saying, uh, for example, I have friend. Um, I don't want to mention his name. He help, he has helped me since I was junior high school. And then I said to him, I thank you so much. And then I gave him uh, a gift just uh, to represent the way I feel thanks for what he did when we were in junior high school, even until college, sampai kuliah. And then, and he said, this was good. Why not? Or for girls. If you have friend who is there every time you feel blue and then you have your close friend and you share your feelings, why not? We're just humans. Um, okay, that will be for unit three um, next, week. next week. And next week. yes. Kind of excited yes. for next week. Mm -hmm. This one. We're going to talk about family life, but we still cover more uh, about, look at this one. Remember about each other. So this is by your friend. See, conversation. You need to pick up your friend, partner one, partner two. You ask your friend your name. This is one, this one is you, your friend, student's name. And then for example, you ask uh, Reski uh, his name. And then, okay, which language learning skills are easier or harder for you? Easier, paling gampang, or paling sulit. Number eight skill from one is equal to eight. For example, you list one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For example, grammar, uh, number eight, harder. <laughs> Vocabulary, number four. Listening, number three. Speaking, number five. Uh, pronunciation, number one, is easy, for example. Reading, number seven. Uh, writing. Or oh, nonverbal non gestures. This is, this is exciting for you to remember, to know. Nonverbal gestures means your, your body language. So, so having conversation is not just about speaking. Imagine if I speak to you like this. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to open this class today. Please open the display. That's, that's, it's that's, going to be boring. That's plan. That's really plan. That's plan, boring, and then you're going to be dead end. Yeah, we're, we're going to out of the class yeah. all the time. <laughs> You know, that's non-verbal gestures. When I do like this, it means I'm excited. Oh, or, oh you have a signature move, I see. <laughs> excited means I want to listen. I am um, I'm ready to engage in conversation. That's what it means. And if you have someone who is moving his or her body like this, you know, when when someone is with you having conversation and then that person shows his body what 
it means that he's or she is curious. Dia pengen tahu. Tapi kalau misalnya ada orang seperti ini, hmm, moving away, berarti dia tidak mau terlalu serius. Tidak mau terlalu serius. Yeah, or, or his body like like this, uh, moving his legs, or shaking his hair like this, uh, you know, or mm-hmm. like this one, Hmm, okay. <laughs> That's really... Uh, or someone may be showing um, expression like this one. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> so, it's non-verbal, it's just gestures. See, um, the way you have conversation, you attract your opposite speech. speaker by having that non-verbal gesture. Imagine if you have someone saying like this, the word um, no, for example, no, tidak, like this one, no, no, with this, no, no, <laughs> so it's different, different meaning, right? What did you get? Okay, that is non-verbal. That's non-verbal. And by the way, the non-verbal gestures between men and women are different. <laughs> Very different. So for for boys, do not assume girls will understand what you mean if you don't understand how girls speak. What? Did, That's but, possible. Ya, yeah, bagi bagi yang laki, anak laki-laki nggak sulit dipahami oleh perempuan kalau yang laki-laki nggak paham cara perempuan berkomunikasi. For example, girls tend to like details. Perempuan lebih suka details ketimbang yang laki-laki. Am I right or wrong? Ya, yeah. women like to be more patient. Uh, boys tend to be short, short, direct, and concise. For, for example, like this, um, gimana bajunya? Kalau yang laki-laki ditanya, gimana bajunya? And then yang laki-laki akan bilang, bagus. Yeah, neat. That's good, that's good. Nah, kalau perempuan nggak akan puas itu kalau dibilang begitu. They, they nah, just... Mm. Because that happens. That happens. I have my wife, so oh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm married actually. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> why do you laugh? Nothing. No, no. Just want to laugh. Okay. All right. It doesn't mean anything, right? I hope your laugh means nothing. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is for, okay. Just skip that one. <laughs> this is personal. Um, we are going to talk about this next week, partner one and partner two. That's your your assignment. If you want to look at this again, you can see it on YouTube and you can screenshot it. Um, reading, writing, nonverbal, and then after that, we're going to have this one. Students' name, your favorite food, personality profile, childhood memory, best or worst life experience, future plans, and favorite place to study. For example, my fr- my favorite food is nasi goreng or fried rice and my personality profile i am a little bit introvert with melancholy situ- feeling and um, and what else i yeah, think it's, it's a little moody <laughs> and perfectionist no whoa perfectionist i tend to like perfection okay um, Um, bukan kesempurnaan. Perfection means that I, for example, I like students who do the job assignments well, not lazy one, like that one. And childhood memories, I remember when I when I uh, climbed mango tree next to my house, and then suddenly my grandmother shouted at me by saying, "Thief!" <laughs> and then she she hit me with the um, with the uh, rotten wood. in my leg until ah. I cried. <laughs> I wrote done. Uh, kidneys, they're gonna call that child abuse. 
Okay. Well, today is child abuse, but at the time it's not child abuse. It was teaching. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, number five, best and worst life experience. Okay. The best life experience for me was when I went to the U.S., to the United States, and to meet with many different types of people in my life from white people albino to the darkest skin people oh, african whoa, 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 whoa. That's, that's... that's the best life experience right um i saw people who are uh, fat and who are skinny and people respect one another that's what i this is the best life experience and i really like that mm -hmm. and i met with many christians oh yeah i met with atheists I met with uh, Kung Fu Jews. I met with people from India, from Thailand, Sawadee Cup. And then I met with um, Chinese. I learned uh, Chinese Mandarin, for example. Uh, not Wo Ai Ni, something else. Uh, for example, Xie Xie. Mm -hmm. And then Wo Hong Ho that kind of expression yeah. of course I met with Americans themselves and, and I was surprised though when they said where is Indonesia <laughs> okay and worst life experience the worst life experience was when I did speech competition for the first time I I memorized the speech for three pages it happened when I was in senior high school I memorized the speech, and then when I got up to the stage and delivered my speech, suddenly I forgot everything. Ah. That's the worst life experience. Yes, yeah, so that was my first time learning English. Right at the time, I learned that English is not memorization. Bukan hafalan. English is a language. I use it. And my future plans is that I want to go to overseas again to continue my PhD, my doctoral degree, and then going to Makkah, Haji, one day, if possible. I mean, and man. then number seven, uh, my favorite place to study is library. Nah. Library, yeah. I know, you, I know you're going to say I'm a boring person, but I do love library. This is peace, quiet, and... Very nice. And the second one is beach. No, is it? Mm. Beach. Yeah, that's like the opposite uh, kind of place to study, right? Yeah. Uh, like oh, me? yeah. Side. Um, you mean outside? Mm. Yeah, I like beach. I like beach with a panorama like that. When you sit in a balcony, you know balcony? Yes, yes. Yeah, mm. balcony, for example. I have stayed in a hotel and I choose. Um, uh, the room that is close to the beach and then i i sat in the balcony and i look at the beach the wide open that's a very nice spot for me to sit and enjoy um, to study reading novel books or anything all right so that's the way how to do best probably we're going to have final exam like this i don't want to you say that <laughs> You cannot say that. You have to be ready. So you need to get get to know your friend, partner one, two, or maybe two, two, two would be just enough. Do, just do. Yeah, just do. Two, two. Thank you very one, much. One male, one female. So <laughs> you need to know. And then you will you're going to say that out loud in our class online God. during final exam. God. Yeah, yeah, this is conversation class. Okay, you need to say something. You need to speak up. Yeah, well, was, okay, fair enough. Yeah, everyone, each one of you who are online today, be ready. We're going to have our final exam like this one. So that's why I posted this video online to YouTube so that you can watch it again, and then you can take this note back to get ready. Ah, uh, mungkin kita ujian final sekitar bulan berapa itu? Okay, probably in the end of June. Uh, for best probably June 28th. Tanggal 28 Juni 2021.
Okay. All right, so I will stop sharing here. It's already 9.50. Um, yeah, all right, so that was it. And you have uh, seen many uh, description about what was going on my face. I'm sweating. <laughs> what? Why do you laugh? I'm nothing. <laughs> no. I have to shoot here. I have to shoot here. Don't don't tell me that it's a good thing. No, it's not. I'm not judging. I'm not judging. Okay. okay. Well, no, for some people, when 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 a man does this, that's like this. Some people think that it's a feminine. Is that right? No, that's not. It, it's just a sweat. So oh, okay. What's what's like? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I thought that my face was glowing. <laughs> All right, now I'm just looking. All right. So Cynthia, I um yang masih online, Cynthia, Aditya, Aisha. Yeah, okay. All right. I'm going to send you the link to your um attendance list. This one. Oh no, this is the link to. Mm, hold on. This is. The attendance list. Let's pull this, this one out. Mm -hmm. oh. Press the link to the attendance list. Please fill it out. Silakan diisi. And thank you for coming. I'll see you again uh, next week. Um, pada jam dan waktu yang sama. What happened? You, you look so dark right there. Wait, is that me? Is that me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't, it's because my flashlight not. Oh, okay. Rahayu Dwi Putri, Tiara, Gili hmm, Pratama, I don't know, Kires, I don't know. Why Why do you put your name with Kires instead of Reski? Uh, it just, uh, dibalik itu, sir. <laughs> dibalik itu. <laughs> Reski, Kires. Oh, just say it's just style. It's a matter of style. Yeah, just for cool. That's all right. That's okay. N nothing wrong with that. Um, Shafitri Kennedy, Frankie Ananda Duguna, Nadia Nulat Nura Fasha. Okay. All right. So fill out the attendance list and then I'll see you again next. Nicholas Saputra. I don't know. I've never seen um, Shafitri Kennedy, Tiara. Okay. All right. Thank you for coming. I'll see you again next. Is there any question? Ada pertanyaan? No. Hmm? No question at all? Okay. No. All right. I'll see you again next week. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.